The Adam Orisha play, or Ayo Festival today, is arguably the most prominent cultural activity in Lagos. Although the Ayo Festival is now uniquely identified with Lagos, it is acknowledged that the event had its origin from outside Lagos. While it is also popularly agreed that Ayo Festival was brought into Lagos around 1750 by Ejilu and Malaki, the two male cousins of Olori Olubani, the wife of Obadu and mother of Erilu Kuti of Lagos. The actual place of their origin has been contentious. Among the parties caught in this web of controversy are Ijebu, Ibefun, a town in Ogun State, located on the north eastern strip of Lagos and Benin, with a strong historical link to Lagos. It is generally accepted that the first Adamo Risha play was organized in honor of Obaki Tuye I on 20th February 1854. Since then, prominent Lagosians who joined their ancestors had the Adamorisha place taste in their honor. In spite of all the controversies, the shine and glamour of Ayo Festival seems to increase with each celebration. In addition to being a ceremony organized as part of final burial rites for important personalities, Ayo is also associated with spiritual cleansing, sweeping adversity away and ushering in good health and economic prosperity for the people of Lagos. Therefore, on Saturday, 28th May 2017, a your festival was hosted as part of activities marking Lagos State at 50 celebration to honor the late Obayakini Adeni Elegushi Kushenla II, former Elegushi of Ikate Land. Part of the celebration of Lagos at 50, and this is our tradition, which is the Ayo Festival. And the number one, the number one festival in the old Nigeria. Uh, we thank the Lagos State Government for one day to support this Ayo Festival in honor of Oba Elegu, late Oba Elegushi. May so just so rest in perfect peace. For a first timer, coming in contact with Ayo may evoke some kind of fear, especially when the masquerade rushes forward with a staff raised high above, suggesting an attempt to beat, but then the staff is gently placed on the person accompanied with the peculiar greetings, Agogoro Ayo, Mo Yofue, Mo Yofun Rami. Ayo is royalty personified, the regalia drips of royalty as it is with the people they are out to honor. It is unique in every sense of the word. As the Akete can be likened to the royal crown, so are the Iboju, the flowing gown, and the Aru Pale, 
the Opambata bear great semblance of the traditional staff of Office of Kings. From its little beginning of small groups, Eyo, staged specifically in what is today known as Lagos Island or Isaleko, has expanded over the years to comprise 50 groups from most of the traditional chieftaincy families. In addition, there are five senior groups called Eyo Orisha. These are Adimu, Laba, Oniko, Ologede, and Agiri. The Adimu or Orisha Oko is the most senior and head of all the groups. The Adimu Conclave, called Awe in local language, headed by Chief Akinshiko of Lagos, plays a great role in the organization of any of your play. Here, it is a beehive of activities several days prior to the hosting of any of your play. The representatives of all other area groups report to the Ademo Conclave for meetings and instructions on issues that concern the actual date of the play, participation, procession, security, costume, and orders. All these the Ademo does in collaboration with the Office of the Oba of Lagos, the family of the dead, to be honored and the Lagos State Government. Individually, the other area groups also engage in several meetings where the instruction from Awe Adimu is communicated directly to participants. Ugly experience from the past has taught the people great lessons. Participation process is therefore very strict and thorough in order to ensure that the ceremony is without any hitch. The Ikopa ceremony, a prerogative of the Adimu group, not only serves as confirmation that a year festival will hold, it is a countdown for actual preparation towards the ceremony. From the day of Ikopa ceremony to the D-Day, Igai Dugara, the official residence of the Oba of Lagos, becomes a marker of sorts as major Ayo groups and families throng the palace to pay homage to the king. The procession, which comes with intense prayers, drumming and dancing, also includes paying homage to the houses of important personalities and the families of respective groups. One distinctive feature of the Eyo festival is recitation of Aru Eyo, a chant like recitation of memorized verses.
Some call it the language of the dead, while others say it is the language between the living and the dead. The Aru is a combination of reverence for the dead, prayers for good health and life, and even the cognomen of each of the groups. Just like any other traditional African practice, Eyo has its own taboos. These are forbidden things that must not be done. Doing them warrant anger and beating from the Eyos. It is a taboo to wear slippers, cap or head ties, plate shuku, a local hairstyle, use umbrella or smoke around Eyo. It is forbidden to mount bicycle or motorcycle. It is particularly forbidden to take photo shots of film the Ayo Rishas. The period of Ayo play has always been a time of prosperity for the Goshens. Increased business and commercial activities are the order of the day. The hustle and bustle stretch the nation's commercial capital to a breaking point. Highest among the articles in great demand are Ayo costumes. The production of these items witnesses considerable increase as Ayo play approaches. The local makers of Akete, the Opambata, or the staff, including the Iboju, engage in these seasonal vocations round the clock. These are traders that have been imbibed from generation to generation. The night before the D-Day, Isaleko, Lagos, epicenter of the event, is filled to capacity as people troop in from far and near to witness a your display. There is no sleep as Lagosians and visitors alike keep vigil throughout the night. It is a season of dancing and merrymaking, exchange of visits or even gifts. <laughs> I 
Lagbara Olorun eh waju waju lowo ile ogun ma lo an bo ti se Beginning from midnight, the five Aorishas are involved in final funeral rites for the deceased being honored, with major points being Abegede and Agodo, men from Ayo, Orisha, Adimu, and the palace lead other Aorishas in observing rites of passage for the dead and prayers for peace and prosperity of Lagos. The day of the ceremony is a day of colorful and exciting displays. The different Ayo groups file out in order of seniority, with the Adimu group leading. After paying homage to the Oba of Lagos, its group then goes into the streets in procession singing, dancing, extending goodwill, and often with acrobatic display. <laughs> To ensure effective crowd control and orderliness, the Ayo procession now terminates at the Tafar Balewa Square instead of Idumota. This is part of the reorganization undertaken to add color and glamour to the festival 
and attract visitors and tourists. As the day begins with a demo procession, so it ends with a group. The end of Adamo Risha play comes when Adimu demolishes the Bara, a cotton wall line made with raffia and mounted the night before. This effectively signifies the end of Ayo festival. It must be mentioned that Ayo has been a great tourism activity with great potential for Lagos, attracting people from far and near. Since the return of democracy in 1999, Lagos State Government, in its desire to boost the state's status as a major tourism hub in Africa has been devoting greater attention and providing support and logistics for the organization of the festival. As a result, not less than five Adam Orisha plays have been held. As this tradition of celebrating the dead continues, especially with the marking of five decades of the state's existence, it is almost certain that the expertise will wax even stronger. For the present generation of Lagosians, a Damorisha play has definitely come to stay. <laughs>